Hey, it's a whiskey ball. We got yeah. stuff. No. Oh wait. You, you just you just kind of you just kind of let me know. Usually we do like a batch. Yeah. And we do like at least a few, if not several. Yeah. We're just doing two in this batch. Yeah, yeah. Because one of them we're gonna drink three whiskeys. I'm just saying. I'm yeah, just you, saying. you had a look. Which reminds me, I went to grab one that's not in. I'm noticing an empty spot right here. Did we start the episode? We, we started don't have... the episode, and I I'm, I might. I might be... Hold on. I'll keep Hang them on. entertained. <laughs> Don't fall in love. Oh. Look what you made me do. I leave. I leave <laughs> for one minute. Go okay, so back. Rich Dunbar, a magnificent bastard. <laughs> Rich Dunbar, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> he sent... Um, Three whiskeys in, okay. but one of them we had already reviewed like last, like pretty recently, mm -hmm. and it was from Red Fork uh, Distillery in Oklahoma. Okay, and we sort of, I think we liked, or it was weird. We kind of liked it was oil and wood varnish and and like things like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we gave them so much shit, the distillery, oh. so what? much shit wait, wait, wait. for handcrafted for um, all of the every yeah, joke. Yeah, what yeah. is it? Oh, it's proudly crafted. It's right, right. handcrafted. It's you know, generations of yeah, yeah, yeah. The artfully and, you know, high quality ingredients, high quality ingredients and yeah. bullshit like that. But he sent us this one, which we already had, so I'm going to use the one that Same we used distillery, previous. Same Fork. distillery. Yep. But this was a gift from a different. And he also sent us these two, and we're going to compare two of them and then have the third. Okay. So. This is the original bourbon. Yes. This is the cask strength version. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, And then yeah. this is a corn whiskey. Sure. Uh, finished on charred oak spirals. Finished on. on. He has an interesting choice of words. Yeah, because typically you put the spiral into the barrel with the yeah, rest of the spirit. Yeah, I think they're just, I think they probably did something like that. Oh, but yeah. yeah. They're calling it finished on. Okay. So let's start with the bourbons. We shoved a spiral so, up in that piece. Yeah. Just to remind yourself, sometimes this one we already had. By the way, the spiral, sometimes, um, pretty cool. They'll make of the exact diameter of a bunghole. So you get this big, fat, long <laughs> just slide spiral it in. Yeah, that goes right in there. So you get the you know, meaningful amount of wood impact just from an insert that goes in the barrel. Okay, remind yourself of this. Our notes before were. This was the, this is the night cast drink. Mm -hmm. We don't know if they made it, but we're gonna just give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, it's a nice nose. I said gift shop wood, carved wood pieces. I'm still getting that. Yeah. And a little bit of honey citrus. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit more specific on that wood note because it is the thing that's gonna be the most unique. Yeah. Pine yeah. cut. I think a gift shop kind of like a uh, gift shop at the end of a national park. Yeah, that's what, I think that's exactly what we said in the last video. Oh, really? Yeah, you and I both did. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, huh. Wow. I'm very impressed by us right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, honey citrus in the palate, kind of soft. Yeah, honey. it's nice. It's Could nice. Be. It's nice. Yeah. My, I'm very curious to see what the cast strength does, though. Yeah. Because this has flavor, but... This is gonna be, is it close to 80 proof? Mm -hmm. it's, it's 45. 45, 90 proof, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it still drinks a little bit more water, watery than what I would expect even at 90 proof. Yes. Um, but the flavors are there. It's not like the flavors are just trying to get past the, the dilution with the water. They're there, but it feels like they could be nicer. At cask, we have the cask though, and we'll see if it... Uh, hmm, it okay. turned up uh, something, but it wasn't it, the wood varnish entirely. Whatever it turned up, I like it. No, it added um, some butterscotch and brown sugar to the varnish. Why do I think driftwood? Like, you know what? That this, sort of uh, water. Yeah, waterlogged wood. Seaside you know kind it is? of, those, but not salt water. It's those ancient, like, uh, wood fence poles after rain you're walking through. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you can smell the water logged uh, fence pole. So musty. Yeah. Like, pectoral <laughs> mixed with aged weathered wood. Yeah. Hmm. I do like it though. It didn't. It didn't ramp up any of the sweet though. It didn't ramp up the honey or the citrus on the nose. No, it did get a little denser, and I do get a little more brown. What could be classified as a brown sugary note is a little bit higher. All right, let's see. Fifty-eight point five, one hundred seventeen proof. The the citrus became like 
citrus peel pith. Yeah, or pit peaches, slightly bitter peaches. Yes, it's the, the bitter pithiness. <clears throat> yeah, if you bite into it and they're too fresh, like they're too not ripe enough. Yeah. You ever bite into it off of a tree and it's a little tart? All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something, but before I say this, mm -hmm. before I lock it in, because this is a high stakes game here. <laughs> before I lock it in, okay, I'm gonna go back to the cask one more time. Okay, all right. It's, um, it's a similar nose, the second approach. Once you got it in you, with the retro nasal. Mm hmm But it's a little bit. What is that type of? Um, there's a little bit more of a sandalwood quality now, and a little more uh, rubber. I'll be damned. All right. I feel like I'm, it I'm locking it in. BMGP. Usually, whenever there's something that's a relatively low proof, like granted, this mm. isn't the floor; it's 90. Okay. Okay. Usually, it's like, man, those flavors are there, but it would be nice if we just ramped them up a bit more. Right. Ramped them up a bit more. Right. It's a cask. It didn't make it better. If mm. anything, it feels like a lateral move. It's yeah. just different. It's just different. The things that I liked about the lower proof. Those didn't get ramped up. The volume didn't get they turned didn't get up in higher proof. Yep. Yeah, and if anything, if you're going for a release, uh, a flavor profile that the most number of people are going to like, I can see why they proofed it down because like that, that bitter, the pith, those types of notes, yeah. those aren't super widespread, beloved, popular notes. So for them to proof it down and get a little bit more sweetness teased out of that, I think it may have been the right move. I agree. Hmm. Okay. Surprise. Yeah, it's nice. Surprise. Yeah, I like the comparison though. I wish every not cask whiskey had the ability for you to get a cask AB comparison. Just so you can go right to it. Yeah, that'd be pretty great. What would you try at cask? Any whiskey in the world that you know they don't release a cask strength, but what would you be really curious to see what it's like? Uh, I'll tell you one, not because it's my favorite thing and I would be so excited, but yeah. because I would be curious. Yeah. McAllen. I would be curious to see okay. if we got the palate back. Oh, because the nose we always talk about, yeah. the nose is beautiful, but the palate is not bad. It's just, it's just okay. It, it doesn't live up to the nose. Yeah. I would be curious to see if the cask version holds the palate. I could see that. This is corn whiskey finished on, which just makes me think of like meat on a, like finished on something or a demi glaze something, yeah. but like, hey, corn whiskey finished on charred oak spirals. I wonder if that was a used barrel, Daniel. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh. oh. Um. You're not feeling it. <laughs> no. Yeah. Are you smell what I'm smelling. Oh. Hmm. I've just had a very visceral memory that's not great. Well, I, I don't smell like a pedophile today. No. <laughs> It's not about you this time. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I almost got core. Uh, I almost got core range Doritos for a second. <laughs> I'm not getting that. Yeah. I'll tell you what. But I'm like, I'm getting like a, a, a grassy sweet eucalyptus. Yeah, but also I'm getting these like meaty, savory chip qualities. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Hold so, on. well, hang on, hang on. Set it down because there was a point when I, one of my friends, his mom cl did uh, cleaned businesses at night. Mm -hmm. So she worked from like 10 p.m. to like 4 a.m. Yeah. And sometimes on the weekends, we would go with her yeah. if I was spending the night with him. Mm -hmm. And we would have the run of all of these businesses or like the whole place would be empty and she would be cleaning and we would help a little bit and then we would just play yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. And uh, one, which was a school, but was like a, pre-K, like, daycare type school. Mm -hmm. And it was in an old building that had, like, linoleum peeling up and in the corners where it looked like it was coming apart and wood rot and stuff like that. Yeah. It, was a, it was not a pretty like, sight. This, this yeah. needs more than a cleaning lady. This yeah. needs a demolition crew. <laughs> and I remember walking around that place with these com combined smells of, like, wood sort of rotting mixed with her spray trying to make everything smell like fresh Right. Flowers and spring, yeah, yeah, yeah. like shh, but it's aerosol, mm -hmm. right? And then this like background musty, lots of diapers and babies have been in this <laughs> space for eons, and kids have been eating fish crackers and throwing up on the floor. Yeah. And yeah. there's this musty, weird old building okay. trying to be covered up with botanical spray. I don't get <sighs> even a little bit of that. Oh, now, really I, will, I will say the nose for me. It's it's uh, it's different, but but I don't dislike it. It's not something that I put my nose in here. It's like oh, I'm not really feeling that. Uh, m maybe something just broke in me, <laughs> but just now. But it is um, it is it's, it's a sweet. It's um, kind of like a lemony. 
cream, eucalyptus, sweetened. What's your nice notes on a corn whiskey? Nah, man, what are, are you nose blind or am I broken? Well, we, oh, okay. like which one? <laughs> like what is, you have been known to be broken and I have been known to uh, partake of things very close to the tasting that throws me off a little bit. Yeah. It was, um, it was one of those breakfast bars. Oh. Fudge brownie breakfast bar. I don't know Maybe. what that would do. I don't know what that would do. I don't know, but that, would but that it really would, affect your smell as much? It wasn't really a real fudge brownie. It was one of those like really gross protein Like bar keto things. type things yeah. or fake ones. Yeah. yeah, it tastes horrible whenever you compare it's it to a real It's all gritty thing. and... Oh, well, dude, this is... I haven't had anything but coffee. And this is... Uh, we haven't even tasted it yet. No, because the smell is... is I'm trying to acclimate to what I'm considering a very strong off right. note. Like this would go in my faults cabinet. Well, hold your hand. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Mm, it's okay. I'm not letting go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am tasting when I smelled. It's a little. It's almost. Um, I was getting a lot more on this. But almost uh, like root beery kind of direction. On yeah, some we're of on very things. different pages on this one. So, uh, similar pages on this. Very different pages on this. Uh, it, it's much simpler. I mean, the nose wasn't like incredibly complex with multi layers, but on the taste, it's, it's even simpler than what I was prepared for. Oh. <laughs> it's, oh. It's, it's situations like this where I kind of feel bad for the people that, that did the whiskey. <laughs> no, because oh, it because, happened again the other day, by the way. Because the associations, like, that's not on them. Like, they no. can't be held accountable for there was like a, a creepy guy in the, your, your yeah, band but, or no, something. But, or they can't be held accountable whenever you have this weird cleaning experience. No, it's, but it's in there though. Like, that's fault, that's faulty. Like, I'm saying there are objectively, there's something wrong with this whiskey. I'm saying objectively, it's pretty tame and simple and it, there could be a lot more going on. It's, it, it tastes young. Tastes like the sweetness is very thin, very brittle. Uh, there's no mid palate. There's a little trace of like a, a slight bitter quality underneath that. Maybe mm. that's the thing that's kind of cleaning, cleaning producty for you. So uh, on the face of this, it, on the face of it, like that's not really an amazing whiskey. Um, these two are kind of like you know they're they're nice, but they're, it's just adjacent. One isn't better than the other. Mm. I'll tell you, uh, it happened again where we uh, I got an email the other day and someone started. Imagine my surprise this morning when I woke up to a review of my whiskey from my favorite whiskey YouTubers. I'm so sorry you didn't like it. Man, I know. And I'm like, ah. Oh. So I just emailed them back. I was like, look, man, it's, it's you do you. <laughs> I, sorry I didn't like it either. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He was really gracious about it. Like he was not punchy or. I know, I know, I know. But I know. it's just that, a reminder that, that those you, are real people. You know that make it. You know that makes it so much worse. Oh yeah. Right. Hundred <laughs> percent. They're like really cool. Yeah, they were dick about it. You're like, oh, fuck you. I was like, yeah. good. Well, maybe well, I hate like, it even more. No. Oh, they're really kind and like it's okay. And so maybe we'll do better next time. You're like, oh. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, blind seven thousand. So proper twelve depends on if you've tried it before. It was bought or after. Mm. After it was bought, the new owner started using older stocks of Bushmills as their base, mm -hmm. and the flavor changed dramatically? Yeah. So we might need to go back to prop. This is Souter. He's oh. a song. Okay. So to the point, it was on a blind budget Irish tasting panel, and it was voted number two, yeah. which shocked everyone. Yes. So if you haven't tried it again recently, go grab a bottle of Proper 12. Tastes like banana bread now. Right? So, I mean, ours is still the old one. Okay. But I kind of want to go buy yeah, a new I one. I'd, I'd like to do an AB. Yeah. Will I be there? Will I be there? Will I be there? Will I be there? NPC514, none of you are going to bring up Daniel casually singing Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. <laughs> none of you bastards caught him, caught him singing Whitney Houston's Fairy Godmother. <laughs> yeah. I think it's amazing that he was not the only one who picked up on it. There were a dozen people so, who caught hold on a second. It, my musical reference. So, yeah. There's a dozen of them. Well, he, his was first. Oh, okay. And then there were a bunch of comments later that didn't read his oh, that were like, no yeah. way, Rogers and Hammerstein or Cinderella. <laughs> yeah, it was the musical yeah, yeah. Uh, from of Cinderella. Yeah. Yeah. When was the, the recent experience you had with that that made you want to? perform show tunes. Oh, I was just saying, and the, he, you were saying some comment, I think, in the video about how you're off in your own little world, 
And I sang, in my own little corner, in my own little chair, I can be yeah, Linda, whatever I want to be. What was the last time you were exposed to that? Uh, d probably childhood. Really? Yeah. So you remembered it that long ago. Mm -hmm. It had that much of an impact on yeah. it. Yeah. Haven't seen it since uh, wow. a single digit school years. Okay. Well, none of these had an impact on me, really. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> Sure, they're fine. Yeah. These are fine. This is now. Here's fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, fight for a You friend. steal me, you steal your lover's heart. <laughs> oh, Oklahoma, where the wind goes rushing down. <laughs> and if you drink, may you drink, drink with us. us.